hello students welcome to my channel today i am here to teach you super senses uh, chapter 2 of cvse class 5 so in the previous video i have taught you about uh, super senses that was uh, divided as a part 1 where we saw like um, how eagle takes away the food from the ground as it sees six times more than us so we saw how there are different senses in the animals so in this class we will also study we will study about super senses part two so let us begin with it so here sharp air um in class four you you read that we cannot easily see birds ears the, their ears are small holes covered with feathers so in the previous class that is in class fourth standard you have studied that uh, birds have ears but those ears are just like a small hole but they are covered by the feathers as they are covered by the feathers you can see them so write write the name of 10 animals whose ears can be seen so uh, here are some questions so you have to answer them so a uh, name of 10 animal whose ears you can see the animals which have ears and we can see them are cat dog buffalo goat cow pigs giraffe ox sheep kangaroo so all these animals ears we can see them so the names of some animal whose ears are bigger than our ears so the animal ears whose your the animals whose ears are bigger than the human beings as so let us see the animals whose ears are bigger than us are elephant giraffe kangaroo buffalo cow goat ox sheep tiger and lion so these animals have ears bigger than human beings so one more question is left that is think is there some link between the size of animal ears and their hearing yes there is a link between size of ears and hearing as the size is used the very small frequency of sound waves reaches them and they can hear sharp sounds so sharp sounds can be heard due to the shape and the size of animals as they are bigger they can catch the sound the small frequency sounds as well so try this for this activity find a quiet place in your school tell one of your friend to stand at the short distance and ask him to say something softly so here you can try this activity at your school so ask your friend to stand away from you in a quiet place and uh, ask him to talk something very softly. The rest of you should listen carefully. Then all of you put your hands behind your ears as shown in the picture. Let the same child say something again as soft as before. In which case was the sound sharper? Ask your friends too. So again you all repeat the same thing but you have to stay you have to listen it carefully when your friend is saying something very softly so once you do putting your hands behind your ears as shown in the picture and once without the hands you can try listening to your friend so you can try this uh, and ask your friends and even you feel uh, which sound was sharper either putting your hands behind your ear or just like that without putting the hands behind your ear which sound was more clear sit near a desk tap the desk once with your hand listen it carefully so now this activity you can do it in your school so put your gear on the desk see in the picture how the boy is saying uh, sleeping and tap the desk from your hands and listen that carefully now put your ear on the desk as shown in the picture tap on the desk once again with your hand listen it carefully was there any difference in the sound of the tap yes there will be a difference when you tap the desk without putting your ear on the desk and when you put your ear on the ear on the desk 
and when you can hear the sound so there is a difference between that that this is how snakes hear they do not have external ears they only feel the vibration of the ground so they don't have ears but this uh, the vibrations on the ground can be felt by the snakes and they can hear so sound send messages high up on a tree a langur wants other others of dangers like a tiger or a leopard the langur does this by making a special warning call so you can see a monkey there so it it will make sounds when it sees um some danger like leopard or a tiger to uh, warn his friends bird birds also give alarm calls to warn about the danger some birds even have different sound for different kinds of danger for example there is a different warning call if the enemy is coming from the sky or if the enemy is on the ground fishes give alarm call by electric signals so so we can see how langur is uh giving alarm uh, that is warning call for his friend when he sees some danger like leopard or a tiger similar thing bird does they give warning they give warning calls by making different sound and even fishes also do, does this by electric signal some animals start behaving in different way when a earthquake or a storm is about to come people who live in forest and can observe such behavior of animal come to know about the danger so, so um, we can we can observe that animals of some kind uh, they make they make a signal when there, there is earthquake about to come so when the people who are staying in the forest and who observe the animal very carefully they can get to know about the earthquake by the behavior of those animals so in december 2004 few tribes that live in the forest of the andaman islands noticed that the animal behaving in a different manner they guessed some danger so they moved away to the safer part of the island soon after the island were hit by the tsunami these people were saved so what happened in the december 2004 that is in andaman island so <laughs> the, by seeing the behavior of the animals the tribe staying in those areas moved to some safer island and they were saved by the tsunami dolphins also make different sounds to give messages to each other scientists believe that many dolphins have a special language of their own so these dolphins they make different sounds to talk to other dolphins so these scientists believe that they have a special language of talk between them so right can you understand the sounds of some animal so which animal yes we can understand the sound of the dog so which is staying at a home as a um uh, as a pet either it might be a cat so you can identify the sound which uh, it is asking if the if someone has come to your home or if it is asking for food it makes some different sound do some uh, do some animals understand your language which ones yes your pet animals at your home either it might be a dog or a cat they understand your language if you talk something say it with sounds just like birds and dolphins you can also make your own language of sounds for giving messages remember you have to you have to talk to your friends with only sounds and no words how and when will you need to give an alarm call for example when the teacher is coming to the classroom so you can try this activity as a fun activity so you can talk to your friends you can talk to your friends by making sounds but no words you can give an alarm call when a teacher is coming to the classroom sleeping waking some animals go into a long deep sleep in certain seasons then they are not seen for many months so some animals will go for a long sleep during the during some certain seasons and they are not seen in that in that season So have you noticed that during the cold season you cannot see any lizard in the house where do 
you think they have gone lizards have gone to sleep during the winter so lizards at your home during the winter time you can't see lizards why because they go to sleep during the winter so it looks like a slot it looks like a beer but is not it is a slot it spends almost 17 hours a day sleeping while hanging upside down on a tree branch the slot eats the leaves of the tree on which it lives it hardly needs anything else when it has eaten enough leaves from that tree it moves to the nearby tree slot lives for about 40 years and in that time they move uh, they move around only 80 trees once a week it comes down from the tree to revel relieve itself so slot it just see you can see in an image slot that is just looking like a beer but it is not a beer it is a slot it lives on trees so uh, it eats the, the leaves of the tree on which it lives and <laughs> it sleeps for about 17 to 18 hours a day and uh, it, it the lifespan of slot is of around 40 years in 40 years it only changes 88 80 trees only eight trees only eight trees once a week it will come down and once when all the leaves of the trees get over it changes the tree so you can see a clock is given there of 24 hours on which the gray side it is shaded gray that is for sleeping time and which is left over in the white that is for awake time so we will try doing this for uh, the other animals given down here cow so it will only sleep for two hours as the gray part is shaded only two portions so now again you will find um python python will sleep for around 18 hours as as you can see the gray portion the three-fourth of your gray portion um, the clock is gray and you can see a uh, giraffe sleep only for one hour as the clock is um, shaded gray for only one hour half of the time cat sleeping and half of the time awake that is 12 hours asleep and 12 hours awake when you see different animals, do you have any questions about them? Make a list of 10 such questions and you can ask to your teacher. So tiger. A tiger can see 6 times better at night than most of us. So tiger can see 6 times more than uh, we do in the night time. The tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and can see the movements of vibration in the air they help the tiger move in the dark and find its prey so you can see the mustache that is the whiskers of the tiger are very sensitive they can even feel the um, vibrations of the air and they will help the tiger to find this food during the night time a tiger's sense of hearing is so sharp that it can make out the difference between the rustling of the leaves and the sound of an animal moving on the grass. The ears of the tiger can move in different directions and this helps to catch the sounds from all around. So tiger's ears are very sensitive and it can even hear if some animal is walking on the grass. Yes and rustling sounds of the leaves so which helps animal to again find its food uh, tigers make different sounds for different purposes like when it is angry or to call out to a tigress it can also roar or snarl uh, its roar can be heard up to three kilometers away so these tigers also make different sounds of roaring when it is ang when it is angry and when it is calling the tigress and the roar of the tiger can be heard for around three kilometers each tiger has its own area which may cover several kilometers tiger mark their area with their urine so you can see uh, the cats doing this they can they mark their area 
using their urine so this area might be around for some kilometers a tiger can at once come to know if there is another tiger in the area by the smell of the urine a tiger will avoid going into another tiger's area so one tiger if it gets gets to know that it is a area of the other tiger it will avoid entering that area so the tiger is one of the most alert animals and yet today tigers are in danger so we have we have known that tigers are in danger and we we have seen many national park reserve parks to conserve the tigers what do you think are some of the dangers to the tiger in the jungle so these hunters they try to kill the tiger and take the skin of the tiger can human beings also be a threat to animals how yes as i told you that hunters hunt the tiger just for their skin do you know that today many animals are killed and uh, killed and their parts are sold elephants are killed for their tusks rhinoceros for its horn tigers crocodiles and snakes for their skin as i told you animals are having threat from the human beings as elephants tusks are sold rhinoceros horn so tiger crocodiles and snakes skins are sold out so it is a threat for them and danger musk deer are killed just to make a little scent from its musk people who kill animals are called hunters and poachers so these human beings who kill the animals they are called as hunters and poachers they also kill the musk deer just to make a perfume from the musk of it the number of tigers and many other animals in a country is reducing there is a danger that some of them will soon disappear to protect the animals our government has made some forests as protected areas some of them are jim corbat national park in uttarakhand and ghana in bharatpur district of rajasthan in these areas nobody can hunt animals or destroy the jungle so our government has taken some measures to protect these animal from hunters and poachers so many national parks are built so and we will know more about this national park there is ranthambor national park in rajasthan panch national park kaziranga national park nagarhole national park are some of the national reserve parks of india Rambutur National Park which is located in the part part of Rajasthan and was made for conservation of tiger that is protecting the tigers Panch National Park it is one of the most popular forests of the central india that is madhya pradesh area uh, Kaziranga National Park it is the world heritage site famous for one horned rhinoceros you can see one horned rhinoceros in the Kaziranga National Park Nagarhole National Park National Park Nagar National Reserve famous national park of South India So you can So here is a activity given for you all you can try this take a strip of paper yes cut a long strip of a thick paper mark the strip as shown here so you can mark a strip as shown here 1 2 3 4 5 6 numberings so Uh, hook together hook together the cuts on the number 1 and 2 in the same way hook together 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 make a cut uh, in the mark on the leg turn down the corners of the strip on the top of the head to make the ears mark the eyes and nose with a sketch pen so you can do this as shown in the figure and the instructions are given so thank you in today's class we have studied more about the super senses and about tiger and many national parks so in my next video i'll be solving the worksheet of super senses so stay connected with me thank you